Hey guys, Ashley D. Will here, and today I want to go over a post that's on my blog, and it's called How to Love Your Wife. And I want to give uh, the husbands out there some encouragement, because even though I'm not obviously a husband, I have been married to one for 30 years, and we have been through a lot of things together. And um, I can share with you what I have learned over the years, and I can share with you some of what Ken Nair has been taught by the Lord that is uh, just a beautiful gift from heaven to him that helped him to turn his marriage and family around. And I hope that it will be helpful for you as well, because we have Skyped with Ken Nair many times years ago, and he was very helpful. It took my husband a while to get what he was saying, <laughs> a very long time. But aside from that, uh, this these are just some important um, ideas that, that may be really helpful and encouraging for you. So let's review it. How to love your wife. Um, Ken Nair is a man that I have found who's been greatly humbled. He is also a man who listens to the Lord. But he doesn't just listen to God. He listens to God in his marriage relationship. Shh, I know it's safe to say not many men do that. But Ken Nair does it, and I'm encouraging you to open your mind, open your heart to the idea that you can listen to the Lord in your marriage relationship. That that's one of the main places where you want to listen to the Lord. Okay? Fan. Um, so, in Ken's own words, he said this, Having grown up in orphanages, I was not familiar with what a home, a marriage, or family should look like. Growing up like this, I resolved to have a meaningful marriage and family. However, reality set in, and after 13 years of conducting my marriage as the Christian community had instructed me, all hopes and plans for a happy marriage began disintegrating. Okay, that is alarming, but he's being very truthful. Then he said, God started teaching me some valuable lessons through experiences which caused me severe emotional trauma. I began to understand how my negative character had emotionally affected my wife and children. I also made some scriptural discoveries I had never heard before, even though I had grown up in the church. I discovered that when these scriptural principles were diligently applied to my life, there was an amazingly positive effect on my marriage. Then he says this, seven years later, our married friends said they saw noticeable changes in me. Due to their insistent prompting, I began teaching them how to apply the same principles I had found in scriptures. In the scriptures, they all soon noticed the dynamic effects on their marriages. Okay, so this is what we're implementing in our marriage, which is causing it to actually work. And I'm not looking for the fastest and soonest way that I can get out of this. I'm actually starting to relax and enjoy this relationship. And I never really thought that that was possible. But God is the God of the impossible. So Ken is the author of several books on marriage and Christlikeness, including Discovering the Mind of a Woman, which is an excellent book for men and husbands to read and men to read before they ever think about getting married. Um, and then Understanding the Heart of a Man is for the Wives. So God has taught Ken what every believing husband needs to learn, to live in touch with his own spirit, the spirit of God that lives within him. You are one spirit with the Lord Jesus Christ, and the new nature inside you is the real you who is united with him in spirit. That's where the Holy Spirit lives in you. So, Ken has asked hundreds of husbands whether they, number one, were in touch with their own spirits, and number two, understood the mind of a woman. He asked hundreds of men this. He testifies that never once has he met a husband 
who was in touch with his own spirit understood the mind of a woman or much less one who even knew what he was talking about. Okay, this is a huge red flag, you guys. The husband's awareness of his own spirit, Ken teaches, enables him to be in touch with his wife's spirit because together they are one in Christ, Ephesians 5.31, in the marriage relationship. So in parallel to the relationship between Christ and the church, the husband's Christ-likeness and his sensitivity to his wife's spirit are the keys to the spiritual connection that creates this successful and satisfying marriage. Ephesians 5, uh, 5 25 through 27 says, Husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her so that he may, might sanctify her, having cleansed her by the washing of water with the word that he might present the church to himself in glorious splendor without spot or wrinkle or any such things, that she might be holy and faultless. So that's a beautiful passage. Um, but in spite of many superficial teachings that I have heard, uh, the passage in Ephesians 5 is not just telling husbands to read the Bible to their wives. No. That purely logical inference is a product of human reasoning, and Ken's ministry has confirmed that conclusion in 1 Corinthians 2, 12-14. Jesus Christ is the living Word of God. John 1, 14 and 5, 39. And husbands loving their wives via the Holy Spirit is what cleanses their wives. When a husband loves his wife and gives himself up for her in the Spirit of Christ. She naturally becomes sanctified through him so that he can present her spotless. So according to this biblical principle, Ken's powerful ministry called Christ Quest Ministries has saved and healed thousands of marriages that were struggling and many were actually on the brink of divorce. So Ken and his wife, Nancy, they know firsthand of the misery and the chaos that husbands can bring on their marriages and families through failing to walk in touch with their own spirits and thus failing to stay in touch with their wives' spirits. Ken and Nancy's marriage and Ken's relationship with his three daughters suffered for years as a result of his stubbornness, spiritual ignorance, and lack of discipleship. It was only when God tapped him on the shoulder and showed him his error that, that he got through to Ken's spirit, and then things began to change supernaturally for the better. So since that time, Ken has made amends with his wife and his daughters and now enjoys a supernaturally connected, loved, and contented wife and family. He has also discipled his daughter's husbands so that they too can follow in Ken's steps and love their wives as Christ loves the church in answering God's call to manhood by laying down his life to follow Christ in his marriage. Ken has been blessed with a one-of-a-kind marriage ministry that is rocking the body of Christ couple by couple. Through decades of attending various churches over the years up and down the East Coast, I've never once heard this scriptural teaching on marriage, although it is getting more popular today. Uh, truth is growing. But it does hit the nail on the head, and it has certainly hit my husband Tom on the head. So it takes a while maybe to, to get it and to actually start doing it, but it's worth the effort to press in and get a hold of this and run with the ball. So if this life-changing message were out in the mainstream churches, we would no doubt see divorce rates among believers fall. So if you want to assess a ministry, you look at its fruit, right? How is this ministry doing? Are they hooked into the vine? Are they doing the will of God? Well, look at the fruit and you can tell. So this one is bursting with healed marriages, including mine. And... Granted, mine has taken a very long time, 
and that was for many different reasons and many reasons I don't even know yet but I know that husbands need help because they don't know what to do and sometimes they feel like even when they do what they know to do it's still not really working you know and so I want to help you with that but I know that husbands need help and Ken Nair is the one to deliver what you need to um, turn that key to help your marriage and your family, you know, turn that rudder on the ship to get your marriage and family going in the right direction. So I have a lot of scriptures down here. Uh, 1 John 1, or John 1, 14, John 5, 39. Uh, 1 Corinthians 2, 12 through 14, 1 Corinthians 6, 17, and Ephesians 5, 25 through 32. So I hope this is helpful, guys. I want to encourage you in your marriages. Women and men are wired totally differently, and I know that a lot of you husbands think that we wives are just crazy. And so I can probably understand that uh, coming from where you're coming, but I assure you that we're not. We're wired by God this way, and it's His will for you to understand the way we're wired and to connect with us. But firstly, you have to connect with Him and become sensitive to your own spirit to be able to be sensitive to your wife's spirit. Okay? So I'm encouraging you to pursue this, and uh, don't just brush past it, but press into it, and uh, you can do this. You can definitely do it. This is God's will for you. And when you submit to him and ask him for what you need and seek him and his ways, he will totally show up and give you the victory. All right. So you guys have a great day and I'll see you next time.